I, 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 I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing, so What's good guys and welcome back once again It's been a minute or two but this video has been long overdue We're on location and um, we're heading out for a lobster hunt A lot of guys obviously as you know I run the lobster courses So if you are interested link below um, With that said I get so many questions about lobsters um, So today I haven't done my first lobster hunt this year at all So I'm out on my own We're heading out, we're going to go get some lobsters and I'm going to try and take you with me. Now, I haven't got my head mount on. Um, basically, the uh, thing snapped. So, you're now on a gimbal. And I'm going to try my best to see what I can do with the camera setup I've got. Maybe try and find a lobster, set it up so you can see me third person. Uh, it's not third person, is it? Yeah, third person. I'll try and obviously extract some lobsters. And I'll take you along the way. So, it's finally quiet and down in terms of weather and storms and rain and got really calm three knot winds so we'll see how it goes um this isn't looking amazing but for lobsters you don't need a lot of this so we're heading out location um and i'll catch up with you when we're there so first off all i want to say is the viz is absolutely horrendous about a meter if i'm lucky so i've got my work cut out but if you go out in the winter when all the kelp's dead and you dedicate learning spots, learning where the holes are, that's when it will come play a part when you've got bad viz as well. It especially helps when you know where the holes are. So we're gonna go and hit some of the holes that we know roughly where they are and hope that we bag a lobster or two. But we're gonna dive on the way, check check some new ground and stuff like that as we go. Viz is absolutely terrible, but what else am I gonna be doing? Sat home doing not a lot. So we're out. We're going to hopefully try and get some dinner for the dinner plate and uh, hopefully this new camera set up for a minute until I get a new head mount um, works. If not, is what it is. We'll see what we can see down under. Um, I'm going to probably have to tie it off to my drop weight or something like that so I don't lose it because um, it is pretty, pretty bad. So, we're about 20 minutes in. We found one lobster already. Uh, fortunately this one was actually not so bad so I've I've gone over the top shined a bit of light the light has made this lobster walk straight out I could have gone for the grab straight away but obviously I want to show you guys so I've drop weighted it I put my drop weight down to locate where it is this is the necessity in in, in bad viz um, so we're gonna take the camera down and we're gonna hopefully try and get some good footage and try and get it out depending on how it is I might just try and go for the grab before I grab the camera so it looks a bit too small, it does look a bit too small, but we're going to get it out anyway, so we're going to show you guys how to um, measure and mark to make sure they're legal. Uh, with the group, if you haven't already, go head to the Facebook group down below, join. The amount of people that don't know the legal size of a lobster is absolutely unreal. Probably 80% of people don't know the correct size. So we're going to head down there, get it out, we'll show you how to measure it up. For Cornwall, it's 9 centimetres. For Devon, it's nine centimeters as well. Okay, and we'll just show you what's going on. And if you have made it this far, go back in the video, watch the whole way through. There's going to be two voucher codes that will come up on your screen at some point that you can use at checkout at Underwater Forage UK. Five pound off whatever you order. All right, five pound off, like just five quid. You can order whatever you want. So if you want to hit one of the comps or the raffles we've got, go for it. Anything you want. There's only two. So one, that's it. Once it's used, it's not being able to be used again. So keep an eye out for them as well. So let's get down there and show you what this is about.
So I managed to get this one out of its hole um, on the second attempt. Thus doing so, I wasn't quick enough on my grab. It darted back and it went deeper into the hole where I couldn't then see it. Unfortunately for that one, um, it went a lot deeper to the right, which I couldn't see. Second attempt, bolted back. This is what it is, but we move on. We spent 10 minutes on it. We'll move on to the next one. We'll find one again in a second. So, no more than two meters away. Three minutes later, we've gone and bagged ourselves another one. This one looks a little bit more in size. Um, hold, it's a little bit more difficult, shall I say, compared to the other. The other was pretty difficult anyway. Um, but I'll take you down there and we'll go and have a look, see if we can pull it out. That said, I'm finding this very difficult for you guys today. So, first attempt, bolted back a little bit, nearly out of coming out. Um, very silty hole, so it's tilted up very quick, can see behind him. Come up from a breathe up, and as lobsters do, they fuck off after that. Um, so, I'm glad I left this on because I'm hoping it's not in the hole anymore. So, hopefully, I'll get some good footage of it walking out and fucking off. Um, but yeah. The search continues, we'll carry on. Two found so far. Unfortunately, one fucked off into the labyrinth of its hole, and then this one disappeared after the first attempt. So, um, yeah, got the work cut out, nearly got it out on the first one, but we'll see how it goes. Let's go. So, we have found another one. This is a good sized lobster, like a really good sized lobster. The hole, difficult, very, very difficult. As you can see just here, reef popping up I'm actually on my knees right now it's right underneath me it's very shallow two meters so it's gonna be difficult to get it out the hole looks really difficult but the lobster looks incredible so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get a good angle down there for you it's gonna be tight because I've got to get underneath our overhang and um, we'll see how it goes but we'll see what happens This one was very interested in the tapping of the torch. It is a technique that does work with lobsters now and again. Making a little movement in the front, it does bring them out further. Um, it stops them from going deeper into their hole. This hole was very, very difficult. I had to wedge myself underneath a little ledge. It was difficult to use both hands because of the buoyancy, only being in two meters of water. But as you can see here, the lobster decides to spin round and start to walk back into its hole. I dived. 10 seconds later if it was 10 seconds before with my dive down i would have been able to put my hand straight in and take the grab before it walked deeper into its hole but unfortunately he went really far back this hole was very difficult very big um large opening and it also tucked itself around to the right way he could not be visible at all Again, it's way too difficult of a hole, I'm not even going to bother. I tried to entice it out, weren't having none of it. So, good loss to that, but it's what it is. So, that's three found in an hour. 
Come on, let's get one out. So guys, we just found another one. It's definitely too small, but we're gonna go down. We're gonna try and give it a go, just so I can show you how to measure it, like I said before. All right, so let's get down there. So we got it. Didn't turn the camera on though. Fuck. But we got it out. So anyway, let's go measure this up, shall we? So guys, to measure them up, the best way is to grab yourself a gauge like this. You can be purchased from the shop down below. Um, but they've got a lobster side to it. Okay, so with the lobster, what you want is you want to get one part of the uh, you want to get one part of the gauge behind the eye socket oh you bastard get off back I'm trying to do this in the water which is really difficult but you get one behind the eye socket and this is the end of the carapace here so there to the end of the carapace as you can tell eye socket to the carapace it's about 10 centimeters too small okay so we're gonna pop this one back <laughs> So guys, I think we're going to have to call it there. The viz has got awful. Like to the point I can't even see that down below. Um, the tide's been dropping, so it's just dragged everything from the bay in. We've done probably about a mile stretch. Um, so overall, three lobsters. One out, one got away. One we've left because it's just going to be a pain to try and get it out. I am going to check it on the way back. Give it one go, but apart from that, not much um but the thing is with winter coming around the corner bad fears everything like that you can still find looks like i started off this dive with a meter um it's usually pretty good but now i've got like 10 centimeters if that um so i've managed to be able to find obviously the lobsters as i can got one out for you guys you guys have checked it out showing you how to measure um but yeah, if you do want to get on more courses, obviously this is just a snippet into sort of lobster hunting overall. Um, if you do want to get involved in a little bit more and find out a little bit more, put your skills to the test a little bit more, then head down to the link, come book in. And for the lucky guys that found their um, coupons or the vouchers, well done. Um, and that said, I will probably see you in a bit unless I find anything on the way in. There we are. So I didn't get this one on film because the hole was like way, way too big. Um, I didn't want to faff about with getting the camera down there because I think that's why I lost the other one because I, I, I did about three dives just setting the camera up. So I wasn't going to go away empty handed. This one's definitely in size, um, as you can tell. Nice beast of a one. Uh, I ended up using two hooks because the hole was so big. The, the hole basically took the whole hook, um, fully, the whole lot. But there was like, it went left, so I had to pull him out, him, let's have a look, him. Um, I had to pull him out of a deeper part of the hole. Um, so use the second hook to then pull it out. Um, and uh, I'll show you as you can tell how they're male. So here, on these last legs here, they've got two little nodules. Don't know if you can see that. So that, that's basically meaning that they're male. Uh, I'll let you think what two little balls would be. Um, and then these swimmers here go upwards. And they're more of a usable leg than, than the females are feathers. Um, so as you can see here, these two. And then also the tail itself. These sections here on the female are a little bit deeper so that they can carry the eggs. So that's a lovely boy. Not V-knots, not mutilated, lovely tail. 
that's definitely in size definitely in size absolutely beautiful take that one home let's get this one in the bag and uh i think that's me hunting for the rest of the day we've got food we found about four or five lobsters i believe overall um i might do some dives on the way back in to check some more i'm definitely gonna go check that other guy but apart from that guys can't ask for more weather's been great conditions are beautiful found five or six lobsters in like one meter viz it's exactly what you want hard hunting but first one obviously got away in its little labyrinth of a hole i think it was too small anyway um but obviously unfortunate there the second one which was definitely in size um that one i'm hoping it walked out i'm going to check the footage and we'll see if it did walk out or not um the third one i think we got out but it was too small uh the fourth one which was i don't know if i got a video of the fourth one or not i can't remember i will check but it's been a while um but we definitely got the fifth one out so there we are let's put this in the bag and let's get out